Hey guys, I'm the Command Geek, and today I'm making another video in my Command Basics series, where I make a video on every single command in Minecraft. So the command I'll be covering in this video is the boss bar. If you don't know what a boss bar is, it is a bar at the top of the screen that represents the health of some boss entity, for instance this wither. After the initial slash boss bar command, you have five options. Add, get, list, remove, and set. First I'll be looking at add and remove. When you add a boss bar, you have to specify two things, the ID and the name. Now, they're both names, but the ID is how the computer will see it, and the name is how you'll see it on your screen. For example, if I'm making a boss bar for points, then I might put the ID as just PNT, but I'll put the name as points. The thing is, you can't just write the name. You have to write it in the JSON reader format. I'll be making a separate video on how to do that, because it's pretty complicated, but for now, just know you have to put quotation marks around your name. If we power this, we will now get a new boss bar called point. Here it is, and you can see now that its ID is Minecraft PNT, because that's our ID. At default, Minecraft will be before your ID, but if you really want to change it, all you have to do is write whatever you want before the ID. For instance, I can write command geek PNT. So now you can see there's actually two points, and one of them is Command Geek PNT, and one of them is just Minecraft PNT. So that's something to know when you're putting in your ID. To remove a boss bar, it's really simple. You just write remove, and then select the one you want to delete. So for instance, I can delete my Command Geek PNT. The next option would be list. Now this is straightforward. If you type it in your chat, it will list all the available boss bars that you have created. It doesn't really make sense to put this in a command block because you will not see it. After list comes get. Now get will get you any information you want. So let's take uh, one boss bar that I already have. And now I can get its max value, what players use it, its value currently, and whether it's visible. So if I want to see what players are using this boss bar, I can select players and it will tell me only one player is currently online. If I want to get its value currently, it has a value of 500. If I want to get its max value, it is also at 500. So that's just how you get whatever information you want. The last option we have is set. Now here is where things get a little creative. If we select it, we have a few options that we can set. We can set its color, its max value, its name, the players that use it, its style, and its current value, and whether it's visible. They're not really that complicated, so I'll just go through each one explaining what it is. Now you might notice we don't actually see the boss bar we just made. So we can change that using the set. So let's set its visibility. So we select visible and here it's just false or true. If it's false, it will not be visible. If it's true, it will be visible. So let's put that at true. Now you'll notice we still don't see anything and that's because I'm not selected as one of the players who can use this boss bar. So that brings us to our next one, players. This is pretty simple. You have to select whatever players you want that will be able to see or use this boss bar. So I'll just select all players right now. And like I said in the last video, I'll be making a separate video on how to select entities. So if we power that now, you'll see we can actually see it. It's at the top of our screen. It still looks pretty boring, but we can change that with the other options. So let's choose its max value. So this means how many points can it have? If its max is 20 and its value is 20, it will be fully filled up. But if its max is 500 and the value is 20, then it will only be filled up a little bit. So let's just set this to 100, and that doesn't really change how it looks, but it is pretty important. So now we can set its value. Let's change its value to any value you want. We can make it half of 100, which is 50. So let's power that. So now you'll notice that it's halfway filled. So that's how you use max and value. Another option is color. Color is pretty cool because you can change what color the bar will be. So let's make it blue, for example. Now you notice it's blue. We can also make it any of the colors that you see here. Blue, green, pink, purple, red, white, or yellow. Another option is name. Now this is just gonna change the name. And if you remember when we created this, we had to make a name that we see, not the ID. So this just lets you change the name. If you didn't if you we don't want it to be called point, then we can call it points. 
There we go, and if we power that, you'll notice it changes at the top. The last option is style. Now, you'll see there's a few options, notch 10, notch 12, notch 20, notch 6, and progress. And this just tells how many notches you want. For instance, if we do notch 10, and we power this, you'll notice there's notches up in the bar. There's 10 of them. We can also choose notch 12, or 20, or 6. So if we choose 6, there's only going to be 6 notches. If you don't want any notches, you just put progress. Okay, great. So now we have a boss bar, but it's not really representing anything. We can just set it manually to any value. But usually boss bars represent health, maybe your points, or anything that you want. Right now it's not representing anything. The way to do this is you link it up to a scoreboard, which I'll be making a separate video on. The cool thing about scoreboards is that you can link them to your health, your hunger, your armor value. You can link it to anything. You can also change it with command blocks. Now, the only way to link a boss bar to a scoreboard is with a complicated command that I'll put in the description of this video. So this is the command. It's pretty long and it's pretty messy, but all you have to do is select which boss bar you want to link with what scoreboard. So there I have my boss bar called health and my scoreboard is HP. So that's really all there is to the boss bar command. Now I'll show you some examples of how you could use it. So here I've got an example of linking up a boss bar to a scoreboard. So I have a scoreboard that's linked to my health. So you see I'm starting to take a lot of damage and the bar is going down pretty fast. But if I start regenerating, the bar will actually go up. So here I've got an example of a boss bar that's changing colors. Now you could use this on your server to display a message or share some information or show some notifications. Now all I've done here is I've just put up the sequence of command blocks that basically just change the color. Here I have an example of a timer. When the time runs out, you'll see we get a message. Also one more thing to note about boss bars is that you can only have four visible at a time. So that's it for this video. If you like these tutorials and want to see more of this type of content, be sure to subscribe, like this video, and share this video with your friends.